What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today we're going to do something that nobody really requested but I get a lot of questions about it. So I want to make this particular video to help that person that's either thinking about lifting a truck or thinking about buying a lift truck and that is simply going to be the gear ratios that are inside the vehicle itself. So as you guys know, the engine makes power you got the powers transferred into the transmission. That transmission puts it into a specific gear and gears it down so that way it can send it to the rear and into the front axle. Well, inside of those axles, you've got a gear reduction that happens. So this particular truck happens to have a 3.73 to 1 gear ratio. And I'm going to cover that in this video coming up very, very soon. This one has the exact same engine transmission transfer case. The only difference, it has a 3.55 to 1 gear ratio. And what we're going to do in this video is tell you the difference between different gear ratios, what it means, and really simply just trying to help you guys understand what it means to have different gear ratios, what it does to the truck, that kind of a thing. Before we get into the video though, we are a dealership located in Bessemer in Pell City, Alabama. If you want some more information about these two lift trucks, TC Customs built, um, they're discounted like crazy on our website. I'll have those linked down in the description if you want some more information about that. But as you guys know, we don't use this video as a sales pitch. We simply just want to provide you some good quality information and teach you something. So without further ado, let's go ahead and learn you something. If you guys don't know, we're from Alabama and that's the reason I got a funny accent. <laughs> in case you're joining us for the first time. So this one, as I've already mentioned, has a 3.73 to one gear ratio. And what that basically means is it has a higher number. The higher the number, the more aggressive the gear reduction. And what that basically means is if you've got a gear ratio, a fictitious gear of two point something, 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 it's not a real gear, or maybe it is, uh, but if you have a 2.8 gear, uh, that is extremely intended for better fuel economy on the interstate, but your towing goes out the window. Your acceleration goes out the window. The 3.73 is the most aggressive gear that you can purchase in a Ford F-150, unless you go with a Raptor. But as a non-Raptor, 3.73 is the most aggressive you can get. What that means when I say aggressive, it gives you the most acceleration. It helps you gear that, that torque and that, that power down lower than the 355 that's behind me. And so if you've got that more aggressive gear, the engine doesn't have to work as hard to get the load moving. It does have to spin more and it's going to increase that acceleration, but on the end, on the top end of that, you're going to have a reduction in overall speed. Now, all of these trucks will run what Ford tells you you can run that may or may not be legal. <laughs> but what you're gonna have is a difference in fuel economy on the interstate. Since this one has a much more aggressive get up and go gear, when you're on that interstate doing 70 miles an hour, your RPM is going to be a little bit higher than what's over here on the 355 gear. And we're gonna cover this one in just a second, so don't, so don't go nowhere. But that more aggressive gear is going to be better for acceleration, better for towing, but not nearly as good on the interstate. Um, so keep that in mind. Now the good news is, is that uh, from 2017 EcoBoost and then all of your 2018 and up, they have the 10 speed automatic transmission, which means it has a wider gear ratio inside the transfer, inside the transmission. So you not only have the, the front and rear ends doing gear reductions, but you also have the transmission that can place the motor at the appropriate amount of power, horsepower and torque. So keep that in mind. I know this is getting a little difficult and I ho hope I'm not losing anybody, but that's the idea behind that is the transmission on the 10 speed has got more gears and so you've got more low end torque on the 10 speed and then you've also got a higher gear ratio for the overdrive. You actually have three overdrive gears in the 10 speed automatic transmission. Um, so all of that to say is that in a previous year model, if you had the six speed automatic transmission in the old generation F-150, you may have to have had the 3.73 gears depending on what you're doing with it. But in the 10 speed, you can probably get away with 355s, which is the next most aggressive gear that Ford offers. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this particular truck. As I've already mentioned to you, this one has the 3.55 to one gear ratio, which meaning that there is a 3.55 revolutions in the motor for one turn of the axle or the tires. That's what that means, is that the motor spins more frequently to get one 
Um, and so that's, that's kind of what you're looking at. So what this one's going to do for you, since we still got that 10 speed automatic transmission, um, you're still going to find plenty enough uh, acceleration unless you're going to be racing the thing or pulling, you know, 13 or 14,000 pounds, which if you're doing that, you may not need a 150. You might need to step up or consider stepping up to an F250 or an F350. Um, but in this particular scenario, um, it, this is still perfect for the person that's going to be driving every day, maybe towing something light. If you're towing two or three thousand pounds and not racing it, um, the 355 is probably going to be plenty enough for you. Now keep in mind that my personal F-150 that's parked over there, I've got a set of Raptor takeoffs which are like 34 and some change, almost a 35 inch tall tire. It has the old six speed automatic transmission because it's a 17 model and I've got 331s which is not nearly as aggressive as either one of these, but they have the, almost the exact same tire diameter. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is unless you're going to be doing some very, very purposeful towing with your vehicle, you may not need any of these particular gears. This all depends on what you're going to be doing with the truck. Now with me, it doesn't really matter because I do nothing but haul kids around. <laughs> it's, I don't tow anything. Uh, you know, we take it on family vacations and it's good. I'm getting about 15, 16 miles a gallon. But then again, I also don't ever care about fuel economy. I like to drive it like I stole it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so <laughs> with that being said, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that gear ratio is not as important as you think it might be unless you're going to be towing a whole lot in your vehicles. And I understand some of you guys are doing nothing but towing. And in that case, gear ratio is extremely important to you. Now, if you're talking about a bone stock F-150 um, that is not lifted and you think you need 373s and you're not going to be towing, 373s are going to be absolutely ridiculous for you. And keep in mind that the Roush F-150, the Nightmare, um, if you're familiar with that vehicle, it's the world's fastest production truck right now. Um, we actually sell those here as well, shameless plug. Uh, but but um, th that particular truck is only configured in a four wheel drive with a 3.73 and they lower it. Why do they put the 373? Because as we've mentioned in the beginning of the video, it has the most acceleration. It's got crappy fuel economy at the top end, but who cares? They were just simply going for the fastest zero to 60 time out of any production truck that's currently being built. So that's kind of what you're looking at. So hopefully uh, this video caused you to maybe understand gear ratios a little more than it helped you. As I started saying it out loud and kind of freehanding this entire video, uh, it started sounding like it was a little bit confusing. So let me know, please, in the comments, was this video helpful or did I just confuse the crap out of you? <laughs> I'm truly curious to know what I've done. But anyways, if you have any more questions about lifting your truck or uh, possibly uh, getting your truck customized, we do that as well. Um, not just the brand new trucks off the lot. So we are a BDS dealer. We are a ready lift suspension dealer. Uh, we are also a fuel off-road dealer, Black Rhino wheels. And that brings me to my next point. Black Rhino uh, has hooked us up with a free set of, uh, of wheels. And they said, hey, we'll give you these wheels for free, but only if you give them to one of your subscribers. So as we're celebrating the renovation of our brand new dealership being completed, we're going to give you a set of Black Rhino wheels, and we're gonna give you a set of tires, and we're gonna give you a BDS leveling kit photo free. You don't even have to buy anything. So all you have to do is follow the link down in the description, register your information, and you boom, you're automatically uh, entered to win. You don't have to buy anything to enter into that contest. 100% free. Leveling kit, wheel, and a tire. Not wheel, a set of wheels and a set of tires. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with that bell notification turned on because otherwise you're probably not going to get the videos anyways. It's very, very important to hit that bell notification. Hit a thumbs up. That definitely helps us out. And if you have any other questions, let us know. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day.